Hello friends, this video sets part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1, part 2 and part 3. Now let's move into a topic of empty set or null set or void set. Please note all these three mean the same. When you say empty set, null set or void set is all same term. So what is empty set? Empty set is a set which doesn't contain any element. Does not contain any element. This is the definition. There is no element in the empty set. And this is denoted by a symbol phi or empty curly braces. Let's take some examples of empty set. So when we say that this is a set of natural number is a set of natural number of x is a natural number where x is greater than 5 and less than 6. So as we all know natural number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, till infinite. Now we say x is greater than 5. So greater than 5 natural number is 6, 7, 8 and all. And we say x is less than 6. Less than 6 is these. So there is no common intersection. That means there is no natural number which is greater than 5 and less than 6. We all know there is no number. So such kind of set is represented by 5 or empty braces. And this kind of set is called empty set. Please note, if for the same condition x is greater than 5 and less than 6, if we say x is real number instead of natural number, here we say natural number, instead of this we say real number, then this won't be empty set because we know that there are so many real number between 5 and 6. That is 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. 5 so there are n number of 5.9. There are n number of numbers which are between 5 and 6 and which are real number. So when you see, just don't see whether x is greater than 5 and 6. Also please note the type of x, whether x is natural number or real number. A lot of people don't see this and that's why they make mistake. So please note that we have to understand the type of x also. Whether there is a rational number, real number, complex number, integer, that is very very important because that impacts the result. So now we'll take some examples to find null set, to clear our concept of null set. So first you see x, x is a natural number, please note we are here we are talking only about natural number and we say x into 1, x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. So when we solve this, we will get x is equal to 1 or 2 and both are natural number. So if you want to represent the same set in roster form, what you get is set x, sorry capital X because normally set is represented in capital letter 1 comma 2. So when you see this, this is not an empty set, it has some elements. So this is not a Null. Not null. Similarly, let's take one more example where we say x is a natural number and x square is, is equal to 4. So x is equal to plus 2 or minus 2. But we know x is a natural number, so minus 2 is out of list. Natural number can only be from 1 to infinite. So here x is a set of 2. Here also we see this not null. So this is also not an empty set. We'll take one more example where we say 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we solve this, you get x is equal to 1 by 2. But now when we say x is equal to natural number, we see 1 by 2 is not a natural number. So this number is out of game. So we see that x is not having any element. We can also say x is phi. So it is a null set. Similarly, let's take one example where we say x is natural and x is odd. So that means we are talking about x is a set that is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 till infinite. So this is a set of natural number which is odd. So if we, if we observe clearly, this is a set which has element. So this is also not a null. Let's do these things once again. Here it says x is a natural number and x is either 1 or 2. So this is not a null set. Here you see x is natural number 
and x is either plus 2 or minus 2 since we are talking about natural number so minus 2 is out of picture so x is 2 set x has element 2 so this is also not a null set when we say 2x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 when you solve you get x equal to 1 by 2 but we say x is natural number so x is a blank set or empty set or a void set similarly the fourth option when we say d is odd and natural number we have lot of numbers that satisfies condition we have lot of number that satisfies condition so d is not null now let's talk about finite and infinite sets let's define finite and infinite set a set which has empty or definite number of elements is called finite set that is it is either 0 or n so if a set is having either 0 element or n elements then this is finite set else it is infinite for example when you say set a which has element 1 2 3 4 5 if you count the element 1 2 3 4 5 the number of element is 5 so x is a finite set we will take one more example when we say b is all natural number so natural number will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 it goes to infinite so this has infinite number of numbers infinite number of objects so b is a infinite set while a is a finite set since we have used the number of terms here na when you say for a set S and S, you mean to say number of distinct element. For example, when you say, let's suppose we have a set 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and we have to find number of S, then we see the number of distinct element is only 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the NS will be equal to, so when you say NS, that guy will be equal to and this is the set so we can also write set in this form so what we have done is the set was having element 1 2 2 3 3 4 and we have read that in roster form duplicacy is avoided so we can write the same set in this form 1 2 3 4 and we count the element the number of distinct element is 4 let's take some example of finite and infinite set when we say w be the set of when we say w be the set of days of week so we know days of week is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so they are seven num days in a week so this is a example of finite set when we say g is a set of points in a line so in one line there are infinite number of points so we say this is a infinite set. Why? Because there are n number, infinite number of points in the line. Similarly, when we say A is a set of rats in India, there are n number of the infinite number of rats in India. If you start counting today, you can't count. So, this set that says rat, rats in India, this will also be an infinite set. Similarly, when we say B is a set of months in a year, so when you know that there are 12 months in a year, so set B is also a finite set. When we say P is a set of all prime numbers, we know there are so many prime numbers. We start with 1, 3, sorry, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. You go on, it's a big list, it's an infinite list. So this is an in finite set. Let's repeat what we have learned. Finite set is a set which contains 0 or n number of elements. If it has 0 or n number of elements, it's a finite set. For example, when we say A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it has 4 elements. Also, let's, when we say A is equal to 5, this is the empty set, but this is a finite set. Because when we are saying that any set which has 0 or finite number of elements, it's a finite set. So we have taken some examples here, uh, days of week, months of year, prime numbers, and we've categorized whether it's a finite set or infinite set. Let's do some example. 
on finite set and infinite set. So here we have a set which says x minus 1 x minus 2 is equal to 0. So when you say x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x is natural number so x is equal to 1 and 2 and when you say x is natural number both are natural number. So you see that there are two elements n of set A this is set A actually sorry let me write this again so set A will have two elements 1 and 2 both are natural number in both are this condition so when we will say n of A is equal to 2 so that is a finite number so we will say A is a finite set let's take one more example we will say B set B and we will say is a B is a natural number and greater than 6 there are so many natural numbers greater than 6 for example 7 8 9 10 the list is long so we can represent b in roster form as b is equal to 7 8 9 10 infinite so we see number of elements in b is infinite so b is a infinite set let's take one more example we say n is a natural number and 2x minus 1 by 2 and x 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 by 2 but since we are saying that x is a natural number so this guy is gone so if you represent the set c if you represent the set c c has 0 element so we can say c as this or c as pi but since it is 0 and it is finite that is number of c is 0 so here also this is a finite set. Please don't get confused here. Since it has zero element, it is finite. If it has zero element or n number of elements, it is finite. If it has infinite number of elements, it is infinite. Let's take one more example. It's a national number. X is a national number. Next, X is odd. So when you create a set D in roster form, it will be something like this: one, three, five, seven, nine to infinite. So here also, if you see number of elements in set D, this is infinite. So this is infinite set. I hope it is clear. Finite set means zero or n elements, and infinite set means infinite element. Here in this case, set A has two elements, so it is finite. Set B has infinite number of elements, so it is infinite. Set C has zero element, so it is finite. And set D also has infinite number of elements, so D is also infinite set. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.